nine. So I will have nine ones. Four tens plus two tens gives me six tens. Eight ones plus one one equals nine ones. That means my answer is going to be six tens, nine ones, or 69. Let's add 21 to our place value chart to check our answer. Here it comes, 21. Let's check out the number of tens, six. We predicted correctly, six tens. And now we have nine ones. 48 plus 21 equals 69. We're doing so well, let's try another one. Reset to 48. This time I'm going to add 19. Again, we can look at our tens place value spot. I have four groups of 10 and I'm going to add one more group of 10. That's going to give me five tens. Yeah, I get that, I can handle that. Let's look at our ones. I have eight ones here and I'm going to add nine ones. Eight plus nine is, oh no. I thought I was doing so well. But this looks like it's going to be a little more challenging than I thought. Hmm. Don't worry, though. I do have an idea. We can use what we already know. Think about the problems that we've already solved. Let's use those to help us solve this problem. Look again here. We have 48 plus 20 equals 68. That was the first problem we solved. We added two more groups of 10 to get 68. Then we were able to solve 48 plus 21 equals 69. Let's take a closer look how the first problem could help us solve the second. We have 48. That remained the same in both problems. We added 20 on the first problem. The second problem we added 21. We increased the number we were adding by one. When we look at our answers or our sums, the answer or sum to the first problem, 68, was increased by one in the second problem, 69. We added just one more one to the number sentence. That made our sum one number greater. We can use this same equation to help us solve the more challenging math equation that we had on the last slide. Let's compare again. The equation 48 plus 20 equals 68 is the same at the beginning, 48 plus 19. Our 48s match up. Let's look to the 20. In the top equation, we're using 48 plus 20 equals 68. In our second math equation, it's 48 plus 19. 19 is one less than 20. That means if 68 was the answer to the first equation, the answer to the next one is going to be one less. Do you know what is one less than 68? If you said 67, you're, you're correct. correct. Isabella, one, one less, less than 68, 68 is 67. Using the equation we knew the answer to helped us solve one that we were uncertain about. Use what you already know. Let's look at this written out. 48 plus 20. This is the arrow way strategy. 48, we add 20 and we have 68. Remember, we were just adding two groups of 10, so the number in the tens place increased by two. When we added 48 plus 21, we could add the 20 like we already knew. 48 plus 20 was 68. But remember, there was an additional one that we needed to add. That got us to 69, which was our final sum. Looking at 48 plus 19, we could still add 20 because that's something we know. 48 plus 20 is 68. But remember, 19 is one less than 20. So we'll need to subtract one, and that gives us the answer of 67. 48 plus 19 is 67. It's amazing what you can solve when you use what you already know. Let's take a closer look at my place value chart, and this time we're going to try subtracting. I have the number 68 represented on our place value chart. I want to subtract or remove two groups of 10, which is 20. 68 subtract 20. 